Okay, so uh, so this is the EGSS interface. <clears throat> You're not familiar with the interface yet, right? No. No, uh, okay, good. <laughs> so, uh, so what you see here is the description. Okay, description. So typically if you want, uh, sometimes you, you say, it says click to create a description page. So sometimes I just click, click, and then there will be a pop-up. Wait, let me share the pop-up. So there'll be a, there'll be a pop-up. Do you see the pop-up? Yeah. Uh, you can see the pop-up intro page, right? Mm. Mm. Okay, slowly. Yeah. So there'll be an intro page, so you click OK. Yeah, that, that, that's the reason why I need to share uh, to my handphone. Okay, so then it will appear, yeah, it's, it's, it's slower when, uh, It's not refreshing on my screen. Is it showing up on your screen? Oh, my screen. It just the says uh, Lawrence is has started screen sharing, but it's a blank screen. Oh, but I see the intro page. Do you page. think the e SS beta? Yeah, I can see the intro page, like what you need, what you can okay. write. Yeah. Then I just move on, ah. Huh? So in this intro page, you typically you can uh, type in like, you know, you can type in words like, you know, if, if this is a simulation about, uh, you know, something, something. So it's a description page. La. This, this mm -hmm. is not critical. La. The critical part of the work is the model. So in the model, they have variables, uh, initialization, evolution, fixed relation, and custom functions. Okay. So uh, let's say you want to do something very quick. So let's say you want to make a ball fall down. So a, a, ball, a, a ball falling down, can follow mm -hmm. uh, physics. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to make a ball fall down, you come to evolution. Okay, click mm -hmm. on this thing called the ODE. Uh, now I can see my, my screen. Okay, ODE, then they will pop up. They will pop up uh, a dialog box again. Okay, it's called evolution page. You just accept by default. Okay, wait. Uh. Accept by default. Okay, you are set by default, then it will come to this page where it shows you the evolution page. So the dependent variable is time. So normally we use T, increment is delta T. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a blank simulation, right? Okay, so T and, and delta T are the two variable I just introduced. So in any computer program that you write, you, you will know that it is not possible for uh, the, the program to know what does T and Delta T mean. So if you try to do anything with this, it will not work. So what we do is we come to variables. Uh, variable is blank. This is where you click and then uh, it will have a pop-up again with the var table. Just accept the default name. Okay. Then uh, I'm sharing back to it just so then after that, you can come here, you can now declare. So to, to change the name, is just double clicking, uh, double click. Then you press uh, you know, keyboard T and Delta T. Okay. So um, I, you, are familiar, you are familiar with uh, computers, right? So um, yeah. in, in scripting, sometimes we need to have initial value because if it's not declared, then sometimes the, the program will not follow what value is supposed to take and then it will hang. Yeah. Okay, so typically I need to I need to declare initial values. Uh, okay. So these are the things you just need to take care of. So uh, a quick recap, uh, evolve, then whatever you declare, put it in the variables. Then uh, let's say I want to make something move uh, to the left or to the right of the screen. Uh, so, uh, so in your mathematics, we normally learn that this is, so to double click, you change this to X. Then it auto automatically becomes D T, D X over D T equal to something. So let's say I want the rate to be one, one, uh, one unit per second. 
So then this is my, uh, how I make something move on the screen, starting from the initial value of, or, so I need to declare X and then maybe say initially is zero, okay? So initially the particle could have a coordinate of zero, then because of this evolution, the particle will move one unit every second to the right because this is plus one. Uh. Because computer, they follow the Cartesian coordinate system. Uh. Yeah. Can follow or not? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how do you make this appear on a, a screen, a, a HTML um, canvas. Okay. So in so this is the model. So I only briefly touch about this and this only. Uh, this one I haven't talked about it. Later on, I'll, I'll explain. If I forget to, you remind me. Uh, HTML view. Okay, so this this thing here, they they always have this thing called a click to create. So you click once, then again it pops up the the new property panel. Just accept the name as it is, unless you want to change it for for documentation purposes. You want to change it. Then it will populate this called the tree of elements. Okay, tree of elements. And here in EGSS, when you come to the HTML view, they have these three general buckets of elements you can use. So these are the first one are called the interfaces. Generally interfaces are things like, um, like a combo box, slider, reset buttons, uh, and input fields, you know, these are the general interface. 2D, 2D drawings can only be inserted into the 2D plotting panel, okay? Then 3D correspondingly can only be inserted into 3D uh, drawing panel, okay? So uh, to quickly give you a sense of the, the, the EJSS, so I will just click on this thing here called a single plot, okay? Then once I click on this single plot, then I release my mouse, I move it to the right, it becomes a magic wand, drop it into the simulation view, then it automatically populates it with various objects. Lah. Oh, so the first one is a, is, a, is a label on top, then followed by a plotting panel, then followed by several buttons, play, pause, step, initialize, and reset. So let me just compile this, and, and you, to, to compile this simulation, you need to click on the green button on the uh, right panel. You can see the, the, the green button, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. You all want to follow along or not? Or are you all able to uh, do this? Yeah, I tried doing the Apple game, but I got half, I stopped halfway because of the voice interface. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so are you all like green green or are you all like um, uh, no yeah, familiar well. with things I'm saying? Just this is like a refresher now, or uh, are you all like completely green? Then you want me to go slowly? You have to let me know. It it, it seems like a recap for me because like I've done it, but like I stopped for a while. Okay, okay. Yeah. So. So you want to, uh, okay, I, I, you have not done, you have not built anything before, right? Using this platform. Except for the following app, the, the tutorial. Except for the following app, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how about, how about, uh, uh, how about Kitty? have you done anything? Yeah, I tried the uh, following app and until okay. the voice, now I really cannot. Okay, can, can, no problem. But I just okay, need so, to do um, to... Okay, so I just, so is it fair to say I can just carry on or you want me to wait for you to, then I can, you can share your screen so I can, I can debunk what are your problems? Uh, let's wait, let me see. So you want to look at how we actually did the Apple? No, no, no. I want to know whether you have problem following what I'm saying. Uh, if uh -huh. you are, if you're very, familiar with uh, this uh, this graphical user interface then I can I can I can carry on 
But if let's say everything is a complete blur to you, then you have mm. to stop me. Uh, I don't want to um, ramble on if you cannot follow, is it? Yeah, but I think I did it quite a long time ago. So maybe I think the model part is where I will get confused. Like okay. each tab, like var- variables, yeah. initialization, those things like what are we, what is the each, each tab supposed to do? Okay. Like evolution uh, is where the formulas is, then variables is variables. This this explanation la, for me for me. Okay, so it sounds like you are quite uh, expert in in this kind of uh, scripting like It's only the more in depth things you can't figure out, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so in other words, I just quickly go through how you can make a simple object move to the right. Then after that, I do the more difficult stuff. Okay. Then after that, I, then you follow me on the more difficult stuff. Okay. Okay, so you, to compile the simulation, always click on the green button. Okay, then because this is a brand new file, uh, uh, oh, sorry, a brand new file. So it will pop up a dialog box to ask me to give it a meaningful name. So by default, it will be saved inside your workspace. Mm. Workspace, uh, source, and then it will be inside here. So for example, you, you may want to give it a name called, uh, let's say beginning or something. Lah, oh, beginner. Or oh, yeah, beginner or something like that. Okay. So once you save this, Ah, uh, what happened? Uh, okay, once you save this, the file is already inside your source folder, inside your workspace. Okay, uh-huh. And then it generates this simulation, which you can see there's a top label, there's a plotting panel here and then followed by the respective uh, buttons here. Okay, then uh, the, the, the words here are also editable. Uh. So everything here is inside that one click. Let me show you the one click I did. Uh. So everything is, is inside that one click. So there's a label, there's a control, there's a plotting panel, then there are several buttons for you to enter and then plus the narrative. So uh, let's say you are looking at the plotting panel. I to, 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 um, to, to investigate what are the properties inside this particular element, you just double click. And the property panel will appear. Okay, property panel will appear. Of which the general uh, design is there, there will be tabs if it's a complicated thing. And then each input field, you can actually key in certain things. Lah. Okay, so for example, just now you notice the plotting panel was rather small. So the general trick is I will make this 100% and then the height may be uh, 600 depending on it's an it's a estimation at, the point, at this point in time. Then, uh, then let's say I want to, uh, okay, let's say these are the two things I change. Then now I will go back to my EJSS. Okay, so now if I compile, Remember the two changes I just made? Uh, width. width and height, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I compile. Okay, let's see what happens. New share. So now I compile, you can see that now the width is now 100%, right? And the height is roughly 600 pixels. Okay, so whatever I change on the EJSS editor, I compile, it will render, regenerate the new simulation according to the new specs that I specify. Mm. That's why it's, mm. it's very uh, rapid, like, very fast uh, turnaround. You don't have to uh, wait. Like, oh. okay, so now I, I, I want to quickly do the more difficult stuff. Uh, so now I just look at the, the, remember I said that this is the plotting panel. Uh, mm-hmm. is a 2D plotting panel. So only things here can be dropped inside here. Okay. So this is the first tab. 
This first tab is for single element. This second tab is for arrays. So arrays, in other words, I can design a shape set array, line set array, spring, images, text, polygons. This polygon may have some problem. Uh, then trace, this is a group, and then uh, trace again. Okay, there, are, there are many, many features within EJSS. Okay, so normally I just use the first and the second. Uh. How, how come there's, there will be a problem for the polygon? Uh, okay, because um, if you click on the polygon, mm -hmm. okay, this, okay, so uh, this is a, a free software. Uh, created by professors in Spain. So sometimes mm -hmm. um, some features could be uh, not fleshed out until some, some of us, some people like us who use it will tell the professor, hey, you look at this, this, this polygon cannot uh, invoke the elements and then we, we will let him know. So as far as I know, it has been fixed lah, because I told Professor Felix before. Uh, so, so maybe we, when the time comes, we implement the element. If it's still not working, then we, I, will, I will tell the, the creator of this toolkit. Lah. Oh. <laughs> then, uh, okay. uh, because it's like any computer program, it's like any program, it's always uh, being used by people and people provide feedback, then it improves. Lah. Mm. Oh. So the last time I checked, Maybe half a year back, there were issues with this. Okay, though, though there were no issues with this polygon, but there were some issues with this polygon. Okay, so maybe by 6.1 EJSS beta, maybe it's already been fixed, but I cannot remember. Mm. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you how, uh, let's say I have this thing, I want to draw a ball or a rectangle. I will use this thing called the uh, shape set shape. Uh. I click on the shape, then I don't click on the mouse, uh, left mouse, I, then it becomes a magic wand. I drop it here, then change the name if you like. Uh, let me show you the name. Huh? Change the name if you want. Okay. Normally, I don't bother. Uh, un unless I'm doing a very complicated work, then I will change. Huh? Then I click OK. Then now you can see the shape is automatically added into the 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 shape is not added into the plotting panel. Okay, so to influence the properties of this shape, because it's a it's a blank shape lah, it, it does it does nothing at all. So to influence the properties inside this shape, I will double click on it. So you notice the 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 G, oh sorry, the G is always double clicking to invoke the property. So this X is the position. So I'll put X here. Okay, why x? Because x was a variable I introduced by myself, right? Then this one maybe I put zero. Then the shape maybe the size maybe say one one for simplicity, okay? Then uh, the shape. So uh, one of the major concern is some people worry they need to type in command and all that lah. So yes, you need to type in command. But for this particular graphic user interface, you can just click on this button. Then you should see a pop-up. Then you can just select the, the thing that you want. Oh, so in this case, it's a nothing, uh, ellipse, rectangle, square rectangle, and a wheel. So I'm just going to select a circle. Okay. Then I will go back. So you can see now it automatically populates the word called ellipse inside. Okay. You want to change the color is here. You want to change the line color is here, weave and all that. Okay. So I'm going to close the, oh, sorry. It's, you're looking at the wrong thing. So if it's now ellipse. Okay. You want to change the line color. Same thing. Just quickly change, select whatever you like. You know, then you want to make it very. Hello. 
he's not all here. Oh. Yeah. Can you see it or not? Yeah. Give me a minute. Yeah. It's not showing up. Uh, my brother. Okay. So do you see the, the, the circle? There's a certain lag. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a circle there, right? Uh -huh. yeah. oh. So the circle, uh, the, the circle has the fill is blue, the line outside is green, and the thickness of the width is uh, four. Okay. So this is what uh, EJSS can do. La. So in a, in a very simple uh, setup, in my short explanation, Okay, EJSS uh, adopts a, a variable, uh, you know, a model. Then you can key in all these things here. Then the then the HTML view is where you can show up what you have designed. Uh. So we we script. We normally will write script here in the model, but things inside the the simulation are usually the plotting panel, then some uh, controls and, and some words to make the simulation more uh, meaningful for the user. Okay, so I just want to give you a quick sense of what EGSS is. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So remember, we, okay, show me, I show you my. Okay. So we did uh, Okay, so let's say we are looking at this particular Let me share this So let's say we are looking at this particular simulation I highlighted this as a uh, simulation number one uh. So I'm going to teach you how you can draw this shape Okay, then maybe draw the line. Then we have to figure out a way to model the surface area here as a, as a function of the rate of evaporating. Okay, how to do it? I, I haven't figured it out. So I'm, I'm just showing you uh, then maybe by whatever time we will, we will pause then uh, then I, I will let you try to figure it out. Then ah. if you cannot figure it out, you will, you will send me back the source code. Then I will make the amendments. Then I'll briefly explain how I make the change. Then you continue improving the, the simulation. So for this particular simulation, maybe two of you work together. Then once you all are more um, comfortable, then we can... Uh, then we can work on one one at a one simple person. Okay. Is the arrangement okay? Yeah, the arrangement. Okay. Okay, so let's say for example we look at this uh, Lena poured the same amount of water into container A and B. She left both container in the window, record the water level of each container every hour. So every hour the water level drop, 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 drop. Okay, below shows a diagram with four lines. Okay, wait. Uh. This looks difficult. Scientists discover a mysterious liquid thing of a way to heat it up. Do we have like the full question of it? Because it looks like it's just like picked up halfway. 
Yeah, because the teacher just gave me the the the, the question like this. I think it is a it's a PSLE question. Oh. Yeah. So I think it's just like that. So I don't think they will give me truncated questions. Oh. So it's like it's an MCQ, right? Then like you just like which which Q R P or S? Is it something like that? No, no, no. You don't have to make the MCQ. What what we are interested in is to simulate. This. So I'm thinking that um, in this case, maybe we can make a, a like a beaker like this. Then the area here is actually uh, like some kind of a, a area formula and then amount of water then this will indicate the amount of water left so let me let me check the answer first huh? you know, pour the same amount of liquid into two container yeah, the window so this one has a larger surface area so this should decrease faster Amount of water below shows four lines. Oh yeah, yeah, it's truncated. Lah. The question is truncated. Lah. So the water amount of water. So this one should be B. Yeah. Yeah. This one should be B. This one should be S. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be. Yeah. Oh, should be this one should be B, and this one should be A. So there should be a multiple choice that say A is what, B is what. Yeah. They have two options and they choose the correct option. Nah. Because yeah, it's, it's like, quite impossible to mm -hmm. be like this. Lah. Then, like that. This maybe is possible, but finally, here, like this. Unless it's completely finished all the what, but doesn't seem to make sense also. Yeah, so it definitely be, not. Uh, yeah. at the end will be like there will be no no water left. Yeah. Okay. So. The simulation should be a comparison of two which allows surface area temperature. Okay. So wow. it it is just um. Decreasing volume. Well, this one I need to figure out the the formula for the for the area. The program is like um we need to like create less for the volume right. It's for for our program it's like an area and then we decrease the height of the area. Is it? Like decrease like for a rate of change a rate of change of time. Yeah, correct, correct. Uh. Thing, uh, Wait, but then, hmm, but then, actually in the WhatsApp, you also mentioned about, uh, uh, mentioned that the simulation should be a comparison of two of the containers. Factors. So the factors of like surface area, temperature of surrounding, presence of wind and humidity. So, Is there, and, and there was another sim, right? There was another question, right? Uh, no, it's, it's really uh, very under the picture. Students need to change one variable for a so is it are you what are you all you're reading the words okay let me check uh, yes. <laughs> simulation simulation should be a comparison okay surface area wow so chima <laughs> temperature presence of wind so you see the information is that the person Takes a factor, then see the difference in the change of A and B. Is it? Um, um, so, surface area, temperature. Hmm. We need to figure out the formula for this first, uh, like how it changes. Okay, the one this. Okay. Uh, let me think. Uh. Uh, surface area. Okay, so in other words. 
Okay, I surface area. Is there like a formula for the Google <laughs> formula? Temperature. So basically, higher the temperature of the surrounding, the the is so we just program it it such as proportional la. The higher the temperature, then the the factor at which it evaporates will be higher la. We we can we can put in the arbitrary constant. Mm. Mm. So we, we will make the seam such that it can only vary from 20 degrees to 30 degrees because we don't want to we don't want to give impossible numbers right? so 20, de 20 degrees Celsius 30 degrees Celsius so for every so maybe we just have 20 25 and 30 so only these three numbers then we can we can limit the the flexibility of the simulation such that when the temperature is 20 it will evaporate at a rate of uh, one. You know? 25 mm -hmm. will evaporate at 1.5, then uh, 30 evaporate at 2. So we will just arbitrarily create the artificial uh, simulation uh, because that we, we do not really know the, the real world uh, influence of how temperatures affects evaporation, right? Oh, okay, yes. Okay, but we, we roughly can agree that it is uh, we just simulate it like that lah. Oh, so even though I do not know the the real physics of this but we can agree that higher the temperature higher the rate of evaporation yeah. so likewise the same thing for surface area presence of wind humidity I'm not sure lah, but I think surface area definitely can do lah. Mm -hmm. right Okay. We work one by one first. Uh, we work one by one, correct, correct. Yes, yes. Then we will get inspired and then we, we will script it in. Uh. So I just going to show you how uh, how we can do this uh, shape. We, we do this shape first. Okay. okay. So, uh, okay. So in EGSS, so now you, you have to follow uh, my, my example. Uh. Okay. So I want you to come to I'm going to come to EGSS. Okay, you go to this thing called the digital library. Okay, it should pop up something. It's not showing up first, huh? Wait, huh? Digital library. Then you select on uh, the library in Singapore. Okay. Then you should see inside workshop. Then uh, under uh, maybe hackathon day zero, there should be one called uh, Lukang uh, template. Okay. It's slow. Uh. Wait, uh, my screen is not refreshing on my handphone. Okay, can you all see now? Yeah. Okay, so double click on this or download it. Then it will prompt you to save it somewhere, right? So you just save it in your source, your source folder. Just agree. Okay, Un unless you are a very neat person, uh, then you want to save like a day one, day two, and, and whatever, up to you. Lah, huh? So I'm just going to save it by opening it. Okay, then EGS will automatically where is the Where is my zoom? Back to meeting. Wait up. Keep on top. Wait, I'm lost already. Are you hang on, ah. Uh. Okay. 
bring all to front. Oh, wow. He has a voice. <laughs> it's a what? Interact uh, voice oh, interface. Okay. Lost. okay. So then it will give you an option to, to save it somewhere. Lah. Mm. Then sometimes there could be some uh, uh, repetition file or what. Then you just agree. Lah. Just agree to all. Okay. Agree to mm. all. Okay. Then EJS should load up like this. Do you all see this? Yes. Okay. So this is a, a template I created to make simulation making uh, more pleasant. So you just click on the green button. Okay. Then it, it should show up as a uh, as a three button thing, right? Mm. Three button thing. It's a blank canvas, a blank plotting panel, already maximized and all that lah. Okay. So. The first thing I want you to do is in order to create any simulation, you, you first you need to first you need to save it as a new name first. So there's a save as new file. You have to follow me now. Huh? Huh? Then you encounter bugs or, or issues, you let me know. So save as a new file. So this new file, uh, I think it's called surface is it evaporation? Is it evaporation? Agree? Agree with the name? Yeah, you can see. Yeah, let me see. Okay. So, are you seeing this screen now? Yes. You, yes. Will, you will ask me to save it and then try to give it a name. Lah. So, I'll just give you a name called evaporation. The, the reason reason for doing this is because I don't want to overwrite the template. I want to use the template as a base and then I start creating a new thing called evaporation. Uh, Follow? Yes. Okay. So now I save. Then I should go back to EJSS. Okay. So now the name will now be evaporation while it has all, everything about the uh, the, the previous template. Lah, oh. So now you, I will navigate you to, to see. Ah. So, uh, okay, let's, so it's, it's a creative process. Ah. So I cannot exactly tell you start here, do this because every sim that we encounter is a creative problem solving situation. So since we want to make um, like a shape of a, you know, like a funny shape, right? So I'm going to show you how I can I can do this. So I will use, uh, maybe say I'll use a polygon. Okay, click on the polygon. Then I'll move it to the plotting panel. It becomes a magic wand. I will release it. Then they will pop up a name. So polygon. So this is the container. So maybe I just, okay, I just add the word called container. Now I can be more uh, meticulous in my naming because I, I want to make sure that I can easily figure out the things I add. Lah. So I want this to be a container. Okay, so I just give it some name. You don't have to follow exactly, but you just name it in a way that makes sense to you. Okay. So I'll click OK. Before I click OK. I will go back to it. So it becomes a polygon container. Can follow? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I will double click on the, con the, the polygon container. Okay. It pops out the properties. Okay. EJS uh, natively has, has a help. The help isn't very helpful, <laughs> but <laughs> you can see from the hint. Uh, is it takes integer and then the square bracket. Can you see the, the square bracket, square bracket, and then double uh -huh. square bracket, square bracket. Okay. Do you see the, the hint? The, yes. what is it called, a two tip? Yeah. Okay. I can see on my screen now. Huh? It disappears once in a while. So you can actually write, okay, are you more comfortable with writing all the X 
or you're more comfortable with writing with X and Y, X and Y, X and Y. X and Y, X refer to the X coordinate, Y coordinate of each vertice of the polygon. So I can, I can write like this, huh? I can write like this. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say zero, zero is the first position. Then uh, zero, zero uh, one. Then oh. uh, so first position, so first position zero zero, second position zero one. So it will be like this. Then yeah. I want to have something that goes up. So maybe say it is a uh, two, two, a uh, two two. Okay. So I have three points. So the design output is zero zero. And then one more point here, and then one more point there. So it will draw a funny shaped triangle. Okay. Oh, okay. So, is so this is how you control the, the polygon element. Uh. Okay, yeah. I'm going to paste this inside the, the, uh, the, 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 the in this case it's three sides, uh, three vertices, uh, not sides, the, the points. The uh, points. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put this inside the WhatsApp so that you can follow uh. wait so wait so that point is it x y or x x or x uh, you see the whatsapp x y x y so x y comma x y comma x y okay so before i continue i want to check that it's working i compile i compile okay i assume you know where the green button is Oh, it's, it's the other way around, huh, Vela? Yeah, I was confused. It's the other way around. So it's uh, zero, zero, uh, zero, one, and two, two. Okay. So you can see the three sides are appear. The, 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 three the three points are appearing. So EJSS in this polygon element will automatically draw the line to connect the, the points for you. Okay, I'm going to go back to EJSS. Wow. Okay, I'm going to show you my polygon again. So this is wrong. Uh, zero, zero, okay. Okay, so maybe I want to make it um, uh, minus one first, minus one. As an initial uh, design, uh, minus one. Mi minus one, then uh, one, zero, one. Then two, two can stay. Then uh, minus two, minus two. Okay. Then I'm going to pay inside the the WhatsApp chat so that you can follow me. Hmm. Okay, then now we compile and we see what's the output. It's still wrong. It's not minus two. It's is uh minus two two minus two two okay minus two two okay pasting it inside WhatsApp can you get this shape now let me see a new share can you get this shape? I... It hasn't showed up, uh, but you can see like a, the, the general shape. Lah. Correct. So this is the, let me orientate you. Uh. This is the first coordinate. First coordinate. Second coordinate. Third coordinate. Then fourth coordinate. Does it so if you to... want it to connect back. Yeah, sorry, you, you were saying? Does it have like uh, in order? Oh my god. Yes, yeah, it has to be in order. Because if you jumble up the order, it will really connect uh in a, in it will connect in the order that you have specified. Uh. I think the so I'm going for the, for the so I'm going in the anti clockwise drawing manner, uh, anti clockwise. Uh, okay. The first coordinate can be put on the first, the first coordinate, like this, like, 
Yeah, what? what let me see. Uh, the fourth coordinate can be like, where's the first coordinate instead? Can you show me your screen? Maybe I can help you to debug. You are a co-host, so that means you can uh, take over the share. So you, you can share your screen, then you show me your output on the browser, so I can tell you what you key in differently. Oh, I finally got it. Oh, okay. Oh, I change the order. I think I, I do it. Yeah, I do anti-clockwise. Huh? You did it anti-clockwise? Yeah, I got the V shape container instead. I mean, I, cause I changed, I changed the coordinates. I changed the order, so that's why. Okay, but you you are you can figure out the meaning of this polygon or not? Yes, yes, yes. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I am going to uh, go back. Uh, let me see how I can go back. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this polygon. So my first, oh, let me see the property. Uh, property. Okay, so my first point is uh, minus one, zero, uh, and so forth. So I will add one last one, which is to, so that my, my polygon joins back uh, on this part. So the, is a minus one zero. Okay, so I'm connecting so that is a is a closed polygon. So I have five five points: point one, point two, point three, point four, and then point five. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to compile it. I'm going to compile it and. New share browser. Okay, so now it should be a closed shape. La. Like it looks like a boat. La, huh? Look like a boat. Mm. <laughs> and follow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now I I will now I, I share with you my inspiration now. Huh? Uh, I'm going to allow the so I'm going to make it a bit taller. Okay, we are one by one. Huh? Gonna make it a bit taller because two maybe isn't a good idea. Properties. So maybe two is not a good idea. Maybe I should make it uh, five. Huh? Five. And this one is five. For the I copy my I copy my coordinates into the WhatsApp for you in case you need. Okay, so I'm going to run it. Uh, so now my my container is, is taller now. Can you see? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, so the container is now taller, but now it runs out of the runs out of my screen. Now. Correct or not? It's, it's mm -hmm. higher than my screen because uh, zero. Let me wait for the cursor. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Also, it's exactly here. Lah. Okay. So I want to expand this, the, the plotting panel. So I'm going to share my uh, EGSS again. Okay. To change the property. It's not showing up yet. Lah. Give me a minute. Okay. So in the plotting panel, I will now double click on this thing here. And it should pop up the properties. Okay. okay. So in this property, they have this minimum uh, and, and maximum. So maybe I, maybe I want to uh, make, make this uh, six and make this six. 
because the the Y is the one that is uh, not long enough because I currently I designed my container to be five I think okay why five is a is a easy to work with numbers lah so that um, because I, I noticed that in the teachers diagram they the the every hour the water level drops so maybe I oh. can use every hour is one one measurement one measurement one measurement so I just roughly make it as a five first lah okay so I'm going to compile again and let's look at the browser Okay, so you can see the uh, now the EGSS now this is higher. If you want to see the coordinate, you can just use your mouse and click. Then you can see at the bottom left corner the coordinates will come out lah. Huh? So you can see the Y is about six. So this is my very quick drawing of the of the container. So now I'm thinking, how do I allow the, the teacher or the student to vary the surface area, which is this width here, all right? We, we approximate this line. We approximate this line to be like the surface area of the container, which in this case is one, two, three, four units. And follow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to say, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let me think. Uh, okay. So, okay, I'm waiting for it to refresh. Okay, so I, I need to, I need a way to control. So, Five minus two. Okay, so I'm going to come here. This minus two here. Wait, what? It's lagging. Oh. XL. XL. I don't know why it's a good name. Lah. XL. X for the X position, L for the left. Lah. Oh, you're not seeing my screen. Yeah, you're we're on. Okay. XL. Mm -hmm. You know, in the... Oh, sorry. This is X. It's not XL. It's XR. Then uh, this is... The minus 2 is... is Put it as minus x. Uh, okay, uh, x. Okay, uh, maybe we just call it x. Uh. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to copy this into the WhatsApp chat. Okay, so I'm just going to call that. Uh, at two position here, the x here is here is x. This is minus x lah. So that says x change. It actually control uh, the surface area of the polygon at the top side of the polygon lah. Okay. So x is something I introduce myself. So I got to come here inside the model under variables. Okay. doesn't refresh on my screen. Okay, so now I need to come to this variable here. Uh, any of the tabs, uh, so I could introduce my own x. And this x is, uh, let's say, 2. Hang on, uh, my Mac is heating up. Uh, I put on the floor. Okay, hang on. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. So, so x is initially equal to 2. So by changing this into a variable, okay, uh, I should be able to compile and it should still give me the same result. Hmm. Correct? Because I only merely put in x as the as the variable, but in the position is the is still here. Like this is x la, which is this this number here called two. Correct or not? Okay, so I'm going to uh, show you how you can add a slider and then assign x into the slider so that as you slide dynamically the drawing will change now. Okay. You all can I uh, you all okay or not? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Oh, oh uh. you, have to, you have to tell me uh if it's okay, not, yes. uh doable. Follow up. Okay, so I'm going to okay. now come to the now view of the EGSS editor. I'm waiting for the screen to refresh. Okay, so now I'm going to add a slider. So the slider it can be found under interface. Okay. I'm waiting for the mouse to move up there. Uh, interface. It's not. Recording my mouse position. Oh, the first one. Ah, okay. So now in the interface, you can see there's a there's a mouse here la. Oh, there's a there's a little icon here. First one, last tap, uh, slider. Click on it, then move it. It becomes a magic wand. Then I'm going to drop it into the the control panel. So I want to insert it above the play button. So I will click it at the play button. Then it will prompt me to give it a new name. The face area. I'm waiting for the screen. Still have a refresh. Okay, so there's a new name, right? So create a new element slider. I'm going to click OK. Ready to okay. Okay, so now there's a so now there's a slider inserted above of the play button. Okay. Double click on the slider. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the screen to refresh. Okay, so now this value is actually the variable called x. Because I, I want to create a, a slider that can change and then show you the diagram, how the surface area of this fictitious polygon, which is what we are trying to make as the shape of the container la, to contain the liquid. La. Okay, so minimum maybe say, um, Minimum maybe say zero, maximum maybe say five. Ah, oh, sorry, zero five. Step maybe say one. Okay, step is like what's the increment of the slider? Lah. Okay, so I think that should do it. Okay, then I will close this. I will compile it. Let me share my browser. You know, in your browser, you should see a new slider. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, now, look. now you should change the height. Change the five. Huh? Is in Change the what? Wait. You, mm, of course, when you do the slider, it will change the... Yes. Can see, yeah? So yeah, this for the surface, is a right? quick way. Yeah, this is for the surface. You know the, the top side of the container. So because uh -huh. we are using uh, a line to mimic the variable called surface area. So because we are only drawing this in two D, So the the top side <laughs> of the container is our surface area. I mean, of course, if you draw in in two D, it will be uh, this times this, uh, but we are just approximating it to this first, since we are looking from the side view. 
Yeah. We need a bigger base though. Like yeah. For the smaller one. The, the bottom part of the container. Say again? The bottom part of the container might, might need to be like longer. For the axis. Need to be longer? Yeah, because like when we want to decrease the surface area for the top part, right? You'll be like, you become a triangle, like, right? you just like, you know. Yes, yes. Okay, so in other words, uh, okay. So your suggestion is you want to increase this. The base under the polygon container. Hmm. Like for for the points. And we, we can do that. Okay, we can do that. So uh, okay, so to do that again. See again. So I'm going to make the changes you just recommend, you just suggested. Huh? Okay, so to do that, I will do a new share. For the for the slider, right? um, I think because um we're not make, because like if we for the minimum part if we put zero right, you count a gender so like I think we can put like zero point five or like one. Is that possible or like? Then. Then maybe like for the step it might be a bit too big. <laughs> Like the graph, it looks a bit big, so like you can, yeah, put the word. Okay. Okay.
for your my can can you can you see this or not? Yeah, I can. Yeah, okay. I was talking and it was mute. That's why nobody respond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. yeah. So uh this is uh this is now changed to half. This is now changed to zero point two five. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm going to compile it and look at the browser output. Browser output. Are you look Are you looking this through the browser or is it something else? Currently, something else. On the zoom, it's on the properties of the. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I okay. can help you to. So now you change the slider. Okay. It, should expand. There's some lag. Uh. Give me give me some time. Uh. So you can now see the okay. So now uh, I now have a basic container of the liquid. Uh, mm. Let's see how yeah if I have a liquid It decreases the height. So now, are we like going to focus on one container? Or what? Yeah, just focus on one container. Okay. Then, uh, let me think of the physics. Uh. It decreases the height. Okay, hang on first. Huh? Let me do one thing at a time. You share. Okay, so so if you might be wondering, this is only the outline. Uh, this is only the outline of the the four the one two three four 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 vertices of the polygon. So you want to maybe change the fill to blue color. Oh. Okay, change the fill to blue color. Then you compile again. Now it will be blue color, I think. Yes. Okay, so now this is like the the water lah. Oh, okay, so okay, I need a way to control the height. The height is now currently five. Okay. Or do you think we can um, create another polygon but overlap it? Yes, yes, we can do that. Then we can just change the so depth as the water or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, can, 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 can. can okay, so uh, good, good idea. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I can do that. Mm. Okay, so now in this polygon, to duplicate things is, is as easy as copy and paste. Lah. But the copy and paste is in because we're using the 6.1, uh, you just right click, copy, okay, or you can just use Control C on your keyboard, okay, or then I, to paste it, I just right click and then paste. 
So now you you should see there are two there are two of them. Okay. So now uh, this is like uh, like PowerPoint. There's a bottom layer and a top layer lah. So container two is at the bottom. So container two, I want it to be the I want it to be the outline of the shape lah. So I will double click on the container two. Waiting for Zoom to refresh. Okay, I will remove the blue, remove it. The line can stay as black, but I, I want it to be a bit thicker. Lah. So maybe I change this to width, width is four. Okay, I'm going to generate uh, and see whether the output is satisfactory or not. Okay, so it appears to be okay. So the the, the thick outline, uh, the four, the thick outline is the lay is a layer at the bottom, which is the polygon container two. Then the blue one is the is the liquid that is on the foreground. Okay, so I'm going to now go back to EJS. Uh, uh, rename okay, water and what? Rename it. Again, sorry? Rename. Uh, rename. Yeah, container 2 okay, and container 1. Okay, can, uh, let me see, rename it. Okay. I'll rename this so to rename things just right click and then rename then maybe say this one called water then this one is the container okay can can y'all see this or not yes okay so water okay now water uh, double click I want to see the properties for the water. Okay. So it's minus two zero, then the height is five. Okay, so I will now change instead of five. Uh, instead of five, I'll change it to Y, which is the height of the water level. And the other one, which is also another five, I will change it to Y. So there are two Ys. This essentially the five, the number five are now replaced to Y. I'm going to place this in WhatsApp. Okay. Now you will see that it becomes pink color. So that means that I need to go back to my, uh, okay. I need to go back to my editor. Let me go back to my editor and I need to go to model. Model and then I introduce my own Y and I will make it an initial value of five. Okay, if I compile, then it should be correct. Lah. Okay, it should not affect the simulation. Let me just compile and check. Okay, it is still, uh, y, is, y is still the height of the water level. Okay. Okay. So now I am thinking that uh, how to drop. Okay, so now uh, 
uh, I'm going to come to EJSS under evolution. Now because I'm, I'm doing this without any preparation, so I'm thinking Say this one, I will change it to Y. You can see the DY over the T. Uh -huh. Change it, just double click, just double click, and then it will become a Y. Key in your own letter Y on the keyboard, then press enter to, us, to allow the input to be accepted. Hello, it's lagging on my... Minus one, but eventually it has that default. Correct or not? Okay. And follow up. So maybe say the, it's a function of the surface area. Correct. So currently the surface area is 2x. Is it not? Is it 2x? x plus x. La. Okay, so it's a function of x plus x. I think my 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 laptop is lagging. Yeah, okay, we uh, I'm keying in. Yeah, give me a minute. I connect my. You can hear me? Yes, I guess. Yeah, but I just changed something, but it's not showing up on my handphone. Yeah, so I can. Can you see that I changed the rate to x plus x? No. No. It's not at the rate, like it's just a blank. Oh, now it's. Yeah, yes. Now, okay. X plus x, huh? now can. okay. Okay. This is my initial idea. La. I mean, I can always refine it on the on as we go along but it is the function of the the length x and x right because well, let me let me start my video so it's a it's a function of x and x one because it's the the top part of the water right x plus x all right okay x plus x okay but um but the water level is supposed to drop so i must introduce a negative sign Correct or not? Mm, yeah. Mm. Ah, yes. Okay, now, no, nobody know whether I'm correct or not until we play. Okay, so we, we, we play and we see what we what we observe on the simulation. Okay, I'm going to click play. Oh, it doesn't move. Huh? Oh, okay. You got to click play. Let me share my, my browser. Hi. <laughs> When I click play, the I will go all the way down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go all the way down. No, play. Play. Post. Okay, the water level drops. Huh? You all can see, right? Okay, now I'm going to increase the water level. Hmm. I'm waiting for Zoom to refresh on the screen. Huh? Hang on. Huh? Okay, I'm going to increase the water level. I mean, increase the surface area at the top. Huh? So now it should decrease faster. Play. Okay, oh, but Post. it didn't, Play. didn't decrease correctly. Post. Huh? Okay. Play. Post. It didn't decrease correctly. Okay, it needs to follow the contour of the liquid. Huh? Play. Post. Okay. See the problem? Yeah. Yeah, the, the range of X is not changing. We need to change the X to also like. Okay, so we fix one at a time. Huh? 
Yeah, yeah, correct. We need to. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, let me think how to do. Okay, so first problem. Okay, first problem you know you you notice it, it doesn't stop at the bottom lah. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how you can stop at the bottom. Okay. We think I'm gonna zoom the. Okay. It's lagging right. Like if you are change the solver to RK4, RK4, what? The, the solver. What, what does it do? Oh, it's a, it's a mathematical. Um, it is is the how the evolution, uh, the the step, what what kind of method they use to to solve. So the most basic one is. Is a uh, Euler, which is basically uh, equal time step. So dt 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 is equal time step. If you use a more advanced solver, basically it become it subdivides the interval when there's a need for precision. Uh, or the exact mathematics I am not able to articulate. But when I use RK4, usually the simulation turns out better. Okay. Okay. So under events, there's this thing at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. Under events, I click, then there will be a hop. Hello? <laughs> I think mine is that. Oh, I think it's okay. Me. And ah, uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, uh, that is you. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, X plus X. Why is it minus X plus X again? Um, is it the red lah? Did you just? I think just like any how kind of rate, I think the S plus is negative is for it to go down, but like that's yeah. what, it's just any rate, I guess. Yep. Is laptop dying? <laughs> I think so. Hmm. You muted yourself. I hear you. Okay, thanks. So the so it pops up this event for the ordinary differential equation evolution uh -huh. page. Click on it to start a new thing. It will pop up something. Just accept the default name. Click OK. okay. Click the default name. Then it becomes something like this. So. Uh, you remember the water level drops, right? Water level drops, so at first is y. So y is 5, then y become 4, y become 3. So I want to stop exactly when y is equal to 0. So I will type in y minus 0. Okay. Be because y minus 0 is exactly where I want to stop the... I want to determine the exact point where the water level hits the bottom of the container. Okay, then I will key in an action call underscore pause. Okay. Okay. So you don't have to figure, you don't have to worry about a zero crossing. Basically, I always use zero crossing. Very seldom I use state and positive crossing, unless there's a need for positive crossing. 
uh, the, the crossing is the, is, the, is the way it crosses the zero point. Uh. So when y minus zero, because when, do you, do you understand this uh, return thing? I understand the return, but like, I don't understand minus zero. I thought like it would be like y equals, when y equals zero or something. Okay, okay. So let's say return, return uh, y minus one. Okay. And uh, so y is five, five minus one is four. So it has not reached zero. So it will do nothing. But the moment y becomes 1.1, 1 .1, 1.1 minus 1 is 0 0.1. Hasn't crossed 0. The moment it crosses 0, when does it cross 0? Then it will execute this action. So this is oh. how we, the, the syntax, uh, the syntax is like this. Uh. Okay, so we, we leave it like that. I'm going to clear the simulation and let you see the effect. Uh. So I'm going to render the code. I'm going to share with you. Yeah, I'm going to play. It should stop at this point here. Okay. Mm. Play. Okay. Ah, okay. It stopped. Huh? So because I scripted such a way in a way that I want to determine where the zero crossing occur. So why one minus one is a zero crossing. So it will purposely execute the script that I added inside my action to run. See, in my action to run, I executed this command called pause. Mm. Yeah, so this is what it's doing. La. So I will change it to zero oh. in the hope that it, the, the water level, when it hits rock bottom, it will not continue to decrease. La. Okay. Okay. So this is how I control the, the water level. Okay. So maybe say under event, you want to rename it. Uh, water level. Okay, water level. So that whoever who is reading this will, will have a better sensing of what you're trying to do. Okay, so the name is now renamed to water level. Okay, so we had another problem when that is the the water doesn't to figure out a way to control the the range. Maybe we can have a DSTT is it like to control the rate of X. Maybe what again, sorry? Like control the the have a DXDT. Have a DXDT. Or something like that. Hmm. Uh, but like, like there's a minimum point. No la. need. La. Actually, no need. It, it, you only have DXDT because you want to move the, the X. But currently, the X is the bottom of the wall. If I'm not for if I say so the top, maybe need let me think. Oh yes, 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 you're right. Maybe we need we do need a proportionate thing. So X. Okay, so uh I may need a piece of paper and a pen, uh, but... Oh, but like, the container might change also, right? Is that it? I mean, that, that container also has that. Yeah, but... But you can change might... that, right? Like, the container, oh, the, the variable can change to like... Let's see. X1 <laughs> or whatever, yeah. Oh, okay, X container oh, and X of X1. Two okay. I need to mom, I need to do my anti drug stuff. <laughs> so go and do it. Uh. Oh, you need a phone, is it? I need the password. So. Okay, so 
You all are not looking at my screen. Huh? Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, so I'm thinking that because of this coordinate called 2, so 2x is the, so, uh, no, do I know gradient? Okay, now, two, let me copy this. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do my working, let's say, in fixed relationship. Huh? Uh, just going to create a new page here. So I'm going to do a comment line. So what, what I have is I have a container like this. I, I have a... Then after that, I have some spacing. Then my spacing, my, my container is like this. So now my, my issue is... Maybe something like this. You can see, yeah. So this is two. This is x. This is two. Two zero. This is uh, x y. So the line here. So in other words, my coordinate when is when is this here? The general solution. For this is uh, the midpoint, right? So it will be gradient goes to x minus zero divided by x minus two. This is the gradient, and I need to use the gradient so that coordinate so the coordinate is uh, 2 y equal ms plus c can I just take ratio or not uh, this is then the y new normal sorry y new minus zero divide by you are seeing this on the screen right yes yeah i mean i, I should do this on a pen and paper lah, but because i'm explaining to you i need to write it somewhere so then uh, it should be new y new then after that is x new minus 2, is it? So with this, I should be able to come up with a generalized equation for... Uh, wait, what? Um, what is, is there a way that... Because... If you want to refer to the picture that they sent us, right? Mm -hmm. They have like lines in the container itself. Mm -hmm. Then maybe, I don't know if it actually will help, but like we can mark out the points for each line. Because if you want to create a line, you must draw the, you must know which coordinates you want to put, correct? Then, oh, but the gradient still needs to be there. Mm. Because to me, I... I'm only thinking that if you draw the lines, you will know the coordinates to where each of it will stop for the future time. Lah. But other than that, I don't know if it's going to help with the formula. Yeah, I mean, the, the lines the lines that we draw, we can use a, we can use a technique to leave the imprint, I mean, we can, because, because there is a time at which it drops, ma. so maybe say every one second, it will leave a line, it will leave a, like a ghost image like that, like I, can, I can do that kind of thing. Yeah, but I need to script it in. Uh, yeah. okay. uh, now my problem is, the water level need to drop, 
uh, I need to find out the generalized solution for the new coordinate so that as the y changes, I know where the new y is and new, where the new x is. Lah. So, okay, so in other words, this is not y but 5. You know, this is it's 5, right? Any of you can figure out the 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 general point. Why minus two x? Mm. Mm. I mean, like um. We pause the view and then we, I mean, pause the view, pause the simulation, right? Mm -hmm. We click on like any of the coordinate. Will they like, like show the coordinate? Yes, they yes. Pinpoint yes, that yes. coordinate, right? Yeah. But it has to be mathematically driven uh, so that I don't have to. One. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Hmm. This one I need time to think uh, how to how to derive the the mathematics. <sighs> or, or we take a break la. You you all you all go in uh okay I, I tell you what you let me figure this out. Once I can make a headway, I will pass you the file. Then you all can can see how I do it lah. Uh, but before we close the session, uh, you all can look at the digital library. You all, you, you, you are looking at this screen, right? Okay, so you can click on the digital library. It will pop up the the digital library. So for example, you can actually. Uh, See, there are many source code. So maybe uh, this is under, because I, 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 I cannot say for certain what you are, what you are interested in, but maybe at the beginning, you can look at the example here in the, in the kinematics. So you can look at the first, the, there's one thing here called the kinematics. This this kinematics is one of my, uh, one of my template files. Uh. almost usually when I have issues with whatever, then normally I'll click on this one to to see the the source code, and then I can remember how to implement certain things. Uh. so maybe I can uh, y'all can take a break, and then when you are. Uh, Free, you can look at this source code. 
Okay, then I go and figure out how to do the the, the water container one. The container we are currently finding the coordinates for. For. Wait, what is it for? Uh, the coordinates. Because as the I, I show you ah. Uh, give me a minute ah. Uh. Okay, so because. As the, as the water level, so the the problem now is this is a generalized coordinate. This is a generalized mm -hmm. coordinate. Say x and y, right? Mm -hmm. X is uh two point something. Can okay, say this is uh three, and then this is five, right? So this is the coordinate x y. This is a a fixed coordinate of mm -hmm. two zero. So now as the water level drop. As the water level drop, this water level drop at the rate of the a of the surface. Surface, my problem now is when I play, play, post. When I play the water level, the y. The the y drops, according to my formula minus two x. But I need to find a way to make the vertice here follow this line right. so that it renders this new this coordinate cannot be here it should be here once you can make the polygon shape uh, this shape can be here then you have a animation of something that is dropping in a logical way. Yeah. So I need to troubleshoot and figure out how can I find this generalized coordinate and then pump it inside here, which currently is three, which is X comma Y. The Y is changing is fine. The Y is correct. The problem now is the X is not correct. I probably need to take a pen and paper and do some mathematics. Then I can find the generalized equation. Then I pump it inside the coordinate here. Then it will follow. It will follow this line and come down. It is not very difficult, uh, but I can't. I can't solve it now <laughs> because I'm sitting in front of a computer and I'm explaining all these things to you all. So maybe I need to sit down, just focus a bit, then. Uh, it should not take very long. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Can you all just uh, take a break first? Then you all look at the look at the digital library. You all can look at let's say you're interested in in something, then you can just search and see whether uh, this source code is available. Then you can you can use the technique I taught you. You can compile it, uh, look at interesting features, then you can you can go in Think about the thing about the other simulation that I have uh, post into the WhatsApp chat. Yeah, because it's not it's not easy la. I think the easiest way would be for me to create a template. Then you all continue to to improve the template to to tweak the the things up. Okay. Oh. Can I also like like. For the break, I'll, I'll, I'll also try to work on it, like just to see also. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you can you can work on it lah because I, I. The yeah, X range too. Yeah, because I need to see that you can, you can figure things out. You can navigate ready, uh, then I can, uh, I can let you uh, figure things out on your own uh. Then when you hit problem, then you you check with me. Then I see whether I can solve it or not. But because this is a uh, day one, uh, I try not to throw you into the deep end. <laughs> Let me go and figure it out. Then I pass you the okay. You can you can okay. So okay, if you want to do it that way, also can. You all go and figure out how to make the the water level drop. You're looking at the correct thing. Okay, you all go and figure out how to make the water level drop. Play logically Post. along this line. The, the trick is to change the, the coordinate of the Y here like, and then move it here. And, and how to do it is I need to find out the generalized coordinate. Then once I can do it for this, 
this is just the negative of this. So it's not too difficult. Once you can figure out this one. Okay, so maybe we uh, we each go and figure out the, the, the solution for this polygon. Then maybe uh, 2 o'clock we continue. Or 2.30, 2.30 better. 2.30, okay. Uh, 2.30, we, we, then we, we share our individual solution of how, do, how we did it. Uh. Okay. Sounds good? Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ken, so uh, I see you again at 2.30. Okay. I will put the link in the WhatsApp chat again. Uh. Yeah. Okay? Sure. Okay, see you guys at 2.30. See you. Okay, bye.